these six dessert lovers face a tantalizing challenge. Can they resist indulging in $3,000 worth of desserts for a chance to savor one of the most opulent sweet treats ever? Or will their sweet tooth get to the best of them, leading to an unsavory punishment? Jack! <laughs> We're spoiled! Oh, I don't know do that. $3,000 worth of dessert? How do you guys feel about dessert? Anything no. ice cream. No. Gelato. Cannolis. Gelato. This is the world's most expensive Ooh. chocolate. It's called Tawak, and apparently they have the most rare cacao beans I want some in cacao in my like, mouth. They even DNA, DNA test? test? How do you do that? I want some. I want a some. genealogy test like for chocolate? <laughs> I feel like I just had a religious experience. Oh, there's stuff oh, inside. Wow, wow. Hey, Grandma, they're selling chocolate. What are they selling? Chocolate. They're selling chocolate? <laughs> no, wait, Bitch, this is the is chocolate? This? This is the chocolate? It's in here. It's in here. It's crafted from some of the rarest cacao beans harvested in the Ecuadorian rainforest, this Toac chocolate boasts exquisite notes of floral, toffee, grapefruit, green tea, and cashew. Yo, the packaging is really cute, though. I love the details and the... I'm freaking out. The <laughs> They're already doing this in that other room, but I'm doing it here for funsies. Wow. Oh my god. Brandon, <laughs> It's expensive chocolate. It's so pretty. <gasps> There's a story inside. You, you didn't tell me that it was there was a golden ticket. Oh, there's inside. a guide. Cause I got a golden ticket. Yeah. Look at this chart. There's a chart that like lets you figure out what your taste palette is like. Okay. Well, hey, if you guys like chocolate bars, go check out PVF Chef because Kimmy and I make the biggest chocolate bar, specifically the world's largest reptile bar. So go check Whoa. it out. It took go a lot of freaking chocolate. This is enough to get my grandpa to get out of bed after 20 years. I'm just torturing myself, continuing to open it. Yeah, yeah keep going, keep going. Ooh, Shut it do be like, can dark. Can I smell it? It do be dark. If it's more than $20, I'm eating it. This chocolate is forty dollars, bro. Oh. Ooh, how is it? Ooh. <sighs> mm. So this brand features chocolates priced anywhere from sixteen dollars a piece to five hundred dollars a piece. This brand's charging five hundred dollars a piece for chocolate. Oh my god. Things to do if you're in Paris. Trying out ladder. Ooh, Ooh, macarons. Is that how you say it? Macaron. Macarons. Macaroon. Macaroon. Yes. Wait, yes! I love I'm macaroons. so excited! Mmm. <gasps> Oof. Oh, Ooh. that's so pretty. That's so pretty. Don't these look like pretty patties? Yeah, they do. Oh, they I do. want to eat more. They do. <laughs> Next I'm up, we have an ex. Oh, Jamie. You know what? It's fine. We're enjoying just, today. I thought, oh, so it's. It's okay. Next up, we have an exquisite assortment of freshly made and indulgent macarons from La Durée, the Parisian patisserie that first created the modern version of these delightful confections in 1930. Oh my God, dude. I've never had such good macarons. Oh, perfect. They're colorful, they're bite-sized, they're just they're just perfect. Ah, I mean, like, come on. It's amazing. <sighs> no, I, I macarons I are amazing. I can't, I love macarons. They what? are amazing. Maybe not so much as a dessert. I mean, when I think of dessert, I think of like, oh, like a chocolate fudge Ooh, cake. Like okay. That. Oh, you picked the pinky. Like it, it's got the sugar on it, that's why. And it looks mm -hmm. like buttercream. That gets you going? It gets me going. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, ugh. <laughs> you should try this one. Here, here, here. It's okay. Oh, that's good. That one's really good. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna pass. Passing. My okay. heart hurts, but I'm gonna okay. pass. Do you see all this willpower right now? Um, What's the hot Would you like a macron? <gasps> Are you not gonna eat the macrons? Banana. Jack, eat with me. Cheers. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, I'll food. come back and eat the punishment with you. Will you? I will. Dude, what did I sign up for, Ash? <laughs> Wait, You're not was... gonna like it, Nicole. Oh no. <gasps> that was a good bite, Jack. That was a good bite. Is Definitely it good? It. Have was fun. It? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt this tasty trip through delicious foods, but I have an important question to ask you. What is your favorite scent? What does that scent mean to you? One of the things that I love so much about food is that a certain aroma can immediately transport me back to one of my favorite memories, like sharing a crispy saffron dish with my parents, a far off destination like wandering the streets of Tokyo, or best, challenge me to try something new. When I look for new fragrances, I honestly seek out not only ingredients that I like, but combinations that feel like they uniquely describe me. When I was in high school, my very first perfume was Happy by Clinique. It made me, well, it made me happy. That bright combo of citrus and floral gave me a little mood boost every time I wore it and it is still one of my favorites. But as I got 
got older, I realized that having one signature scent was kind of boring. I mean, I don't wear the same clothes every day. Why wouldn't I want to change up my scent routine too? But buying lots of designer fragrances is quite expensive. Thankfully, I learned about Scentbird, a fragrance subscription service that lets you test drive tons of different options without the commitment. They have over 700 perfumes on their site and each fragrance comes with a 30 day supply that fits into these colorful carrying cases that are so satisfying to use. Plus they're the perfect size to tuck into your purse or makeup bag. It's so much fun to read through all of the different scent notes on their website and truly experiment with scents that you like while discovering new ones you may fall in love with. I am a yuzu fiend. I literally use it on everything when I'm cooking at home. So I've been trying out all the yuzu options at Scentford. Aqua de Parma's yuzu combines that with bergamot, jasmine, violet leaves, and sandalwood. And frankly, it feels like Clinique's happy all grown up. It's a really energizing scent that makes me excited to get up and attack the day head on. But my friend Kenneth also suggested that I try Catherine Malandrino's Mystere, which is described as a seductive journey through the senses, where the alluring blend of sweet caramel and delicate florals creates an irresistible aura of mystery and intrigue. It's still got those bright notes with orange zest and juicy cranberry, but offset with peony, musk, and cedar wood. It reminds me of sneaking into my mom's makeup when I was a kid and spritzing myself with her perfumes. Zero idea what she wore, but this totally reminds me of her. So if you're interested in trying out Scentford for yourself, be sure to use our code PVSF, check out the QR code, or click on the link below to get 55% off your first order. That's just $8 to try this all out for yourself. And again, that's PVSF at Scentford.com. Happy shopping. Ooh. Is that orange? It's chocolate dipped fruit. Fruit covered in chocolate. Oh, it is a win. Oh my god. Just because you put it in a fancy font doesn't mean I'm going to be impressed. The, uh, the Would you like to open it before or after I tell you what it is? Oh, just, come on. We'll come on. We'll do it at the same time. Oh, hello, Patience. Nicole. Patience. Be nice to Ash, she's treating you with beautiful desserts, Jamie. From the luxury chocolate brand Compartes, these hand-dipped milk and dark chocolate covered fruits provide a perfect harmony of decadent rich chocolate and bright refreshing fruit. Whoa, it's so pretty. Wow, that's beautiful. A smorgasbord of chocolate covered mm. fruit. This is like premium grade chocolate. Yeah, and I'm giving it to you. You don't have to worry about messing it up or. <gasps> I'm sorry, that sounded so good. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know, cause I don't know what any of it is. It's like, okay, we clearly we see orange here. Boom, boom, boom. What's that? That's an apricot. Okay. It's very interesting. This is like, like what just touched like my tongue was something I never thought I had, that would. Mm -hmm. That makes any sense. It's like, yeah. it was like an interesting texture. It's good though. This is actually really, really good. Yeah? This is better than strawberries. Why are we eating strawberries? We do raspberries all the time. I agree, I actually, no, I don't agree. I like any berry, mm -hmm. like blueberries, mm -hmm. except for blackberries. No. <laughs> Yo. Dang, dude. You're gonna eat it? No, uh, I don't know. This what? looks really cool. This one in particular, I don't even know what this is. It just looks like like, like rock sugar or like mm -hmm. lemon sugar or something. Mm -hmm. This looks like a... Orange. A face, like a little half little moon face, oh little, God, little crescent cute. moon face. It's got a little nose. See that little nose? No chocolate covered fruits? No luxurious, decadent, yeah, chocolate covered fancy fruits? No. $160 for this box of cookies. That's Is that, cr <gasps> that's not crumble cookies. cookies. Not no, these are better. Cookies, yes! Cookies. I have always cookies. wanted to try one of these. I've yeah. seen these. The packaging, the branding, so uh, expensive too. and luxurious. Basic so white girl, that's funny. Oh my God. From the creative genius, the head baker at The Last Crumb, the renowned gourmet cookie company, we present the Core Collection. This assortment features 12 exceptionally delicious flavors catering to every palate. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Oh. A chocolate chip cookie so good, your grandmother will disown you. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Bro, I love cookies. <laughs> Jack! Sprinkles! <laughs> Can't really smell the cookie. Cinnamon Toast Crunch! Yeah. Ah! Better on. than sex. I kind of want to eat this one. The classic chocolate chip cookie is better than sex, bro. Come on. I'm really stressed right now. I don't know which one to choose. Ah! <sighs> smells incredible. Can you read me what Sprinkles says in the pamphlet? Oh, of course. Yeah. There's a time wow. and place for candles. You need candles when a squirrel loses. Okay, you got me. I want to enjoy, give me a when moment. When a guest leaves behind a little more than a bargain for in the washroom. 
You need candles when life gets the better of you and you must run a hot bath, dim the lights, and nurse your wounds. Stop that. It smells like a blueberry muffin. Is it a blueberry muffin? Mm. Mm. <laughs> it smells like a blueberry may, muffin. May I? You may. may I? You may. Thank you for asking. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yo, what could possibly be the prize if this is what they're pussy putting in front of us? I can't look at this anymore. Can we close it? <laughs> I'm done. Do you okay. guys like cookies? Yes! Uh, yeah. I know. I, I love cookies. I just wanted to ask you again and see if you guys changed your mind. Bro. You want some of this? Oh, I yeah. It's really good. Yeah, that one. Oh my god. So these cookies cost about $15 each. Do you think that's oh worth my god. it? <laughs> Fifteen's a lot. I do think it's worth it. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. You yeah. get what you pay for. Like, look at how thick that is. Sixty bucks to spend on four cookies. On cookies I don't know. <laughs> on cookies. That's like three meals in Los Angeles. Yep. Yeah. But know? this is like an. Ex it's decadent. It is an experience. If this was a pazuki, though, like. <laughs> As cherry blossom trees are blooming soon, you can already find sakura. I love cherry blossom. City. As I'm excited for the season, I went to Kimoto yes. to pick up some yes. sakura trees. I don't even know what they sakura is. Sakura items, sakura Japanese. <gasps> I want mochi. Bring oh me all that. Bring it. Bring, 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 bring me all that. Oh, oh my brought, god. She brought two plates in case you want some. Dude, I'll tell you, <laughs> no, we're like adults now, cause. How cute is this plate? There's cherry blossoms on it. Whoa. Our final sweet treat is the luxurious Sakura Goromo Wagashi assortment from Kei Minamoto, imported directly from Japan. This exquisite collection features delicate and beautiful soft strawberry mochi, a Japanese crepe filled with red bean paste, a rice cake, and a bean cake. Try the mochi. Ooh. You might not be a fan of red bean. I love red bean, but I know. I like red bean like buns. You do? I do. Jack, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I only tried it I on here. <laughs> Aw, the box is so pretty. You can't even see it, but it looks good. Ugh. You know it's gonna be good. I'm oh. opening it for you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I didn't expect it to look like a crepe. <gasps> Wait, I love that. That's so cute. Mm, that looks like a mm. nice pancake. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Wait, no, this is the mochi. I'm just going back and forth between whether or not I made the right decision by not eating everything for the prize. Wait, how much, how much, how, just out of curiosity, how much is this box? Um, I think that's about 70 bucks. <gasps> Jack, just feel this. It's like a little rose. <laughs> Cheese bowl. <laughs> Ooh. Red bean bowl. Yeah, red bean bowl. <laughs> <gasps> Squishy! Oh my god. That might be the best mochi I've ever had. Oh my god. Just, I, you just can't look at the colors anymore. It's just it's just a white box. It's just a box. It's just a box. The packaging is like so pretty. I, I feel bad to open. Oh. No, a, shut up. It looks like a, it looks like a cherry. That is an interesting like texture. Yeah. It's good. Yes. There's a cherry inside. So Sakura Goromo is infused with dried cherry blossom leaves. It is part of their springtime collection. Uh, Look at my... I've never eaten cherry blossoms. So it is, flowers on them. it is seasonal. You will not get this all the time. You don't like the texture? No, I love the texture. Really? It almost tastes like, this sounds really weird, like a tongue. <laughs> it's a little like grainy. I feel like this texture you can find in a lot of Asian desserts. Yeah. But I never know how to actually describe, describe it. Describe it. Ooh. Ooh! Dude! That looks <laughs> so good. Ooh. <laughs> it's giving, um, what are those things from Narnia? Stop! <laughs> Oh, uh, Turkish Delight. Yeah, Turkish Delight. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling from this. <laughs> That's it. That is our challenge. Congratulations, Izzy, Travis, and Jeannie. You were all able to resist a tempting array of fancy desserts. And for that, you get to enjoy an even more luxurious treat. So we're going to be making the golden opulent sundae today. Stop! Stop! A thousand, a thousand dollars. Oh, I saw this on YouTube. Serendipity golden opulent Stop, I wanted to try this so bad. I love ice cream. Oh, what? Can I share it? Oh, no, Jack. Yeah. This is the Lord Sunday? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we came here to do. This is why we were born. You need Don Perignon? You said Don Perignon? I don't <laughs> expensive. I've never had it. Leave me alone. Ah.
Ah, I haven't eaten anything yet. <laughs> thank you. Whoa! Opa. Opa. Look at that smoke. This was $300. $300 champagne? I don't normally like to drink, but today... You don't like to drink? I try to limit I it. I beg to differ. <laughs> For our winners, we've got the grandest of grandeur in the realm of desserts, the golden opulence sundae, which consists of 24 karat gold flakes, Tahitian vanilla ice cream, exotic candied fruits, luxurious chocolate truffles, dessert caviar, and more. We've also got a glass of Dom Perignon champagne to toast to your victory. Oh, wow. Another toast. Oh, to us. To, to us. us. Not toasting to this victory. Why? We lost today. Oh my god. The streets lost. You were so excited about ice cream. I am, I'm so you, happy. You kind of called it. I know. How's the ice cream? You guys were talking earlier about wanting ice cream. I love ice cream. I love it so much. I was holding out. I was hoping you guys mm. would have ice cream. It's gold. It gold. Mm -hmm. 24 karat magic in how, much, how much, how much, how much, how much is this Sunday? A thousand dollars. I told you. And this is $300. But not for you guys. You, uh, get, you guys get zero dollars. Zero dollars? Give me some passion fruit Ooh, caviar. Want, have some gold. Oh! oh no. I'm gonna eat some gold. Some caviar. Mm. That's better. It's better. Yum. So this whole spread will run you about thirteen hundred dollars. Wow. Wait, the champagne is so good. You're dude. living in luxury right now. I know. I feel like a million dollars. Royal gym. I feel expensive. I feel yeah. like a thousand dollars. Still very bougie right now. I feel right like now. three thousand dollars actually. <laughs> I feel sad. <laughs> I like ice cream so much. I just want to pop these in my mouth. I just, I just. That's uh, exactly just, what my bank account looks like right now. Nicole, bring her in here. <laughs> I did promise you I would come back and do this with you. Jack, Nicole, Jamie, and Brandel, you were all tempted and for that, we've got a rather unsweet punishment. Unsweet? Presenting the world's hottest chocolate bar. Wait, oh, oh, that's, that's so cool. cool. Wait, that's so this cute. This is all you need. I'm about to attempt the <laughs> Absolutely not. Chocolate no! Challenge. I hate this already. Why are you doing this to me? Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> An absolute catastrophe of chocolate bar. That's a bad prank <sighs> waiting to happen. I've literally <sighs> never been in this much pain in my life. Why are you doing this to me I again? I can't. I, Abby, I mean, Abby didn't read the instructions and he made me eat half of the chocolate bar in one go. Dad! <sighs> It's so tiny, yet so mighty. I love that. That's like, you've done this before, right, Jack? Unfortunately, yes, I have. I've never done this. And for the sweet tooths that gave into temptation, we've got the world's hottest chocolate bar. Hopefully the nine million Scovilles will teach you a lesson. Nine million? This is like the one time I'm actually What if I told you I needed the 10 million? I need 10. 10 million is where it starts to get hot for you? Is that what you're saying? This. 12 piece chocolate bar is extremely spicy and is not to be consumed by those sensitive to spicy foods. <laughs> Literally, Jack. That's both of you. Uh, or anyone with any existing heat resistant conditions. Ooh, <laughs> this is really good. Kept, kept out of reach of children and pets. I'm a child. I'm a pet. <laughs> I'm a dog. <laughs> You like your ice cream? I like my ice cream. But Don't like, eat that. Like, I feel like I, the ice cream can probably settle it. No, yeah. it won't. <laughs> you ate half of this bar? I ate half. It's really small though. It's really annoying at how small this is when it causes so much pain. Jamie, how are you doing? <laughs> my tongue hurts. Ooh. Well guys, was it worth it? Yes! <laughs> That was a tiny bite. <laughs> I want one. Oh my god. Really? Oh my god. Really? I mean, it's nine million, bro. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Oh, Ergo f oh no, no, no. Immediately? That was so quick. When I ate this, did they give this a genealogy instant test? Pain. Instant regret. Is there a DNA test for this? <laughs> yes, we'll please. <laughs> we'll I'm getting you. PTSD. <laughs> Living our best lives. Congratulations, best lives. Travis. I'm honestly very surprised that you did not give in. Well, I was surprised. I was legitimately struggling over here. I just think maybe, maybe he's just copying me. Maybe he's just trying to copy <laughs> me. I'm just saying. Nah, you said three thousand dollars, and I was like, I really gotta hold out now. <laughs> do you guys regret <laughs> your choices? Yes. Well, she made me do it. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. I wanted durian ice cream. Ew. Okay, Nicole. Durian's overplayed. Yeah, we need to bring back the heat. <sighs> okay, Amber, I know you're really good with spice. Love it. Cheers. Cheers. 
Oh no, it's like <gasps> stinging. Oh, oh god. Oh my god, uh, thank you for watching this episode of uh, What was it? Try not to eat. Peter. The desserts. Peter. All of the desserts. So, oh my god. Check out our Reptile Bar episode. We do lots of chocolate stuff there. Don't eat this freaking candy bar. Oh my god. Have a wonderful day. Oh, seriously, it burns so much. It really sucks. Bye. Thank you again to our episode sponsor, Scentbird. Be sure to use our code PBSF at Scentbird.com or click on the link below to get 55% off your first order, which is just $8 to try out a new signature scent. And be sure to let me know what some of your favorites are in the comments below.